So we've jumped a couple of, <coughs> of rows. We've done our double crochet here, which is in the mauve with small b in a different colorway. The original um, is cross blue. I think. <laughs> Just having a look. Yep. So that will be, uh, sorry. Yes, that will be in frost blue um, in my situation, mauve. Um, again, on the blog, it does say the different colourways. So if you want to follow this colourway, the alternative is there. And then on row 11, which is the V-stitch, which I've just done here, this is row 11, and this will be done in either amethyst, light blue, or silver mist, depending on which pack you have. The most recent pack has been updated with light blue. Amethyst is the original. So all you need to do is just look in your pack for those colours. Um, and what we've done is we've created a half treble with two chains and a half treble into the same space. Um, right there. And then there's no chain here. This is just a continuation. And you skip the two stitches. So you'll have two of these in between. And then again, you V-stitch to get to your corner. And then your corner is two... Oh, Two half trebles. My light has just gone out. I just charge that back up. Um, you should have two half trebles in your corner, and then you continue working the leaf. Right. Oh. Okay, a lot of noises going on. Um, and then we're going to work our puff stitches. So our puff stitch corner. Is the same as our original and we're going to create a chain of two like normal then we're going to work make sure you can see everything your, your puff so we need to do that four times as we did in the other one so if you if you've run it if you forget how many times you've done it just give it a check so you've got seven. And that will probably be our two. So that'll be our nine there. Pull through. And then one, two, three, four, because that chain is a part of the stitch. I'm just going to pull that a little bit tighter so you can see it working there. So just pull it in, yarn over, and go back into that chain space. Create your height by pulling up. So that's two. Three, four. So four turns should give us nine loops. So pull through, chain, and then we're going to start working into our puff stitches. So according to the pattern that we've that I've written, it says that we'll be starting in the corner, which is what we've done. We've created our first two. Oh, I'm going in the wrong line. We're working on row twelve. <clears throat> Let me just scroll down. We're working on row 12. We've created our two puff stitches and then we're going to go three chains. So one, two, three. And then we're going to work into our next puff stitch. So one, two, three, four. We've done four in this one. Have we done more? And this row will be worked, even though it's in fuchsia, it's actually being worked in either the signal red or the ladybird all the way. In my case, it has been worked in, let me tell you, it's been worked in Cupid. So I should just update that on the blog for you. So do another one two four so these space chain spaces are for our um our trebles to be um, to live in and we just do that the whole way around so one two three so let me just align my hands again four if you're not sure again check it Excellent. 
because this is also included in the loop that's on your hook. So just take that three, chain one, one, two, three, and then go back through the next V stitch space, yarn up. See how I've pulled it up, and then yarn over, pull back up, yarn over, pull back up. I'm not counting again. Another one. So I'm just going to go that, yarn through that one, then that's the stitch that hold, not gives it a nice puff. So one, two, three, and then back through that loop like so, and then pull through, and then pull through that one, and then one, two. I was a bit knotted. It's gonna have a we're gonna have a baby vomit come out. Baby bobbin. And you just do that. Now it is gonna slightly um kind of raise itself and look a bit skewy, but when we put the stitches into it, it'll create its form again. So as you can see with this, um where it is now, so let's just move those bits over there. You can see how this is nice and flat. Whereas in some when it when we were doing this row it wasn't, but then we would put this in, it then pulled it out again. You can see how this one is doing the same, which is what we're making now, and it's kind of pulling up here. But when we put the next rows in, all of that will start to take shape. So in some cases, do trust the process. Um, again, also remember that because even though you're using, um, we're working on a square, we are using multiple stitches that are you know they're different to each other. So it's going to pull in different ways. You're not always going to get this perfect square um, because you, you're using different stitches, especially in the corners. It, you know, this one's working out nice and square, but it doesn't always work that way. It all depends on your tension, it depends on your hook, it depends on how you're holding your wall, how many times you picked it up. There's lots of things, how you're anchoring even. So bear that in mind as you go forward. I'm going to continue finishing these puffs outside of this stitch, and then we will do a small chapter again on this row here, just so you understand the front post. I'm trying to just do it so the videos are a little bit slower and a little bit more explained and you can work them in bite size. Um, for some of you, you're more ha you're happy with the 35 minute one. Some of you just want some bite size ones you can go straight to. So here we go. Let's just move this over. We can get some more light. So pull your yarn up. Can you see how I've done that? yarn over and then that will gauge the height of your puff stitch as well so you won't get too tangled up and then if you've got your loop here which is your original loop just go through that chain one pull that down if you must and then one two three they're your separate chains okay if you're unsure of your puff stitch just do a small granny square and then just work some puff stitches around it until you get used to it they do take some time to get neat. They will look different in di different circumstances, but trust the process. You will get there and practice makes perfect or improvement, as I say. So that is your row um, 12. And the next rows are rows 13 and 14. And obviously I will be working on to the next chapter for next week.